Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. And uh, that was giving me epilepsy. Alright, so we definitely have a spin botter coming out here. He's making his way through the halls. And, uh, yeah, it's just... Well, what can I say? You've seen this once, you've seen this a thousand times before. Looks like there's a spin botter on the other team. Maybe two. Uh, making his way around here. He kills the spin botter over in window. And Seal ends up killing the last guy over there. What is the score here? Looks like Seal and the suspect could possibly be cheating. And on the other team, it looks like they have number two, which is Iguana. And I think that might actually be it. Still though, Iguana has definitely got his hands full. And this stuff is going to give my viewers epilepsy because of all of the uh, spinning. So I think I'm going to cut this a little bit short and just go straight to the verdict here. Hey guys, this guy's demo actually gave me quite a bit of an issue. I mean, as I was overwatching him, it kept crashing over and over and over again. And getting to the uh, resolution on the spin botter that we were just watching has been incredibly difficult. And finally, I've been able to get here. So anyways, aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Other external assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And griefing, insufficient. But for some reason, it just seemed like the game did not want me to get him banned because it crashed like seven times. It was insane. So anyways, finally got it. And we're going to submit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Today we are going to be doing another overwatch. Here you can see the suspect is taking a couple shots towards his teammate's feet. I uh, don't think he intends to actually shoot him. Probably just friends playing around at that point because it didn't look like the other teammate was taking any exception to it. Either way he has 14 kills, 8 deaths, 119 damage around and a 71% headshot percentage. He's going to throw a flash here over the top and peek out. There is one guy over by corner now and one guy by pit but they're going to fall off of it and make their way back here towards middle where one guy seems to be pushing up uh, into mid. He's able to actually connect with that guy in mid. His teammate does as well. And they take him out together. He's going to be pushing out mid. It's a 2v4 right now. And it looks like there's two guys over at the A site. One guy making his way towards middle. He could hear the footsteps, so that's not too shady. One guy here on CT spawn. He's able to pick as well, and that leaves two left. Now he does have this deagle, the guy has dropped down behind him. Don't think he knows he's there, but he's just going to be making his way over here into the B site. He is clearing stuff to see if there's anyone in there, so that does look pretty normal to me. Shark is sitting back in middle watching to see if anyone crosses. He's going to try to take advantage of the surprise kill, but he isn't able to. And they actually chase him down, and all of a sudden the suspect's in a 1v2 situation. He's got a nade, he's going to throw it towards the door. Text towards window, one guy does peek out, he's able to take him down. Other guy's over by door, tags him through that double box. All he has to do is hit him with one, two bullets, and he can take down anchor. So, peeks out, but he ends up going down anyways. And he's making his way across middle. Takes his way over here towards long, one guy is kind of watching long. Suspects. Gonna bail off of it and make his way over here towards middle. Meanwhile, one of his teammates has gone down in B tunnels, getting picked from a guy in back of B. Guy has pushed aggressive in B tunnels. His teammate's hiding behind this box and able to take him down. I'm gonna throw a deep flash and just kinda holding right this moment. Another guy goes down over at B, and the suspect's going to be creeping his way down here towards lower, where a guy is set up in case anyone decides to fall back this way. Now he's going to be pushing. Suspect's able to take him down. Takes down another one, and now he finds himself in a 1v2. One of the guys is very low, so it is winnable. One is actually in his spawns. When he crossed right there, Guy may have actually spotted him out. Seems to be flanking. They're pinching on him from both sides. Gonna be making his way into the site here. He's gonna drop a smoke over by the door. And 
then one guy comes in from window and he has another very close round but as you can see he was he did lose both of those rounds even though it's incredibly close right now it does look like he is able to outplay the majority of the other team though so he could very well be smurfing but as far as walls it doesn't seem to be the case at this point to me flashbang comes over long he spots the guy at the corner for a moment, but he's going to be making his way over here towards middle. Throws a flashbang down out the doors. One guy peeks out from catwalk and catches him off guard, and he goes down. It's the last round of this half, and he's got a scout. He tries to pick middle, but he gets taken down pretty quickly. 10-5 to 5 after the first half. He's got 21 kills in that first half, which is quite a few. 127 damage around, which is also very well done. Dinks one guy in the middle, down to 1 HP. The USB just did one more damage! <laughs> that happens to me all the time. I'm just kind of spotting mid to see if he spots out anyone. One guy is close to doors, just waiting to see if anyone pushes. He just crossed. Suspect takes a shot at him, and he's able to connect with a headshot. One more guy at the top of mid by tree. That was the guy he had dinked earlier, who's able to finish off with that headshot as well. One lower B tunnels, his teammate pushes and is able to finish that guy off. He's going to be making his way over here towards, well actually he's changing his mind and going back over here towards middle. He does have that scout in hand, he's peeking it, he doesn't spot anyone off the bat. And it looks like they're taking B, so his teammate should have called it at this point, he's going to rotate over and see if he can tag anyone as they cross these doors. He is able to take one down with a headshot. Hits the next one. Smoke. Gonna throw a nade over to that big box. Finishes him off. One guy over here by window. If he's gonna walk right past him, he doesn't seem to know where he's at. His teammate is able to take him down, and that leaves one terrorist left who's gonna be coming all the way up from the middle. Now the bomb is down here in the B site, so he does have a big thing to work his way in. <laughs> going to take down at least three of them just to get that bomb planted. Suspect's able to take him out with a nice headshot with that scout. And he's making his way across middle again and this time he's actually going to go all the way over here towards B. Peeks into B tunnels, doesn't spot anyone at upper. Just kind of holding here. Meanwhile, three guys are set up, or four guys are set up outside of long. One's actually watching for the mid push, which the CT did push straight up middle and took down one of them. Suspect's pushing up middle though. And making his way over towards A from Catwalk. Now, one guy is pushing out long. They do have bomb down in mid though. So somehow they're going to have to try to get that bomb back. But there is three CTs just scattered around it right now. And uh, if they decide to come along, we have our suspect sitting here with a scout. Spots one out. Bam. Headshot. It's kind of holding right now. Spots out another one. His teammate's able to take him down. And the last guy has picked up the bomb, but he does have two guys on either side of him, and he goes down. Now he's shooting at his teammate, but again, I think that it's more because they're just friends having a good time. Plus, they haven't actually connected with each other. Nade comes in at long. He's able to connect with that guy's head at long. He is doing incredibly well with his scout. Do you guys think it's some kind of aim bot, or do you think that's just his natural aiming ability? Looks like he's going to continue to watch long. Set up from inside sight. But it looks like he's pretty much stopped the long take, and they're making their way back towards the middle, where Anchor is able to take down two of them. This game looks incredibly familiar. <laughs> Like, 
I don't know. Something about it makes me think that this almost might have been one of the Smurf games I played a couple days ago in, in the stream. But uh, I, can't, I can't say for sure. But there are some parts on the other team. I wouldn't have been on his team. I would have been on the other team. Uh, but I don't remember reporting anyone. So <laughs> Either way, there was a couple moments that seemed very, very familiar. I'm going to have to check that out and see if they are the same game. Okay, anyways, uh, so we got a uh, minor disruption griefing. He kind of did do a little bit of griefing, but he didn't actually connect with his teammate, and his teammate and him seemed to be on pretty good terms. Nothing was going on as if they were trying to uh, hurt each other, really, or, you know, take away from their own teammates on their team. No real kind of uh, fight going on that I could tell. So I'm going to say insufficient on that. Other external assistance. Didn't look like he was using any kind of bunny hop script or spin bot or anything like that. As for vision assistance, it didn't look to me like he was using any kind of wall hack. I mean, one shot was really quick, but other than that, for the most part, it was very standard. He did get caught off guard quite a bit, so I'm going to say insufficient on that as well. And aim assistance, he was doing some incredible stuff with that scout towards the end. But again, it was like very small flicks. He was in a lot of pre-placed locations. I feel more that... Uh, he was getting that many headshots because of a little bit of luck and because he was outscaling his opponent so easily and their movement wasn't exactly on you know point so i'm gonna have to give him the benefit of the doubt on this one and say insufficient hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below have a great day